Welcome to Shelby High School, home of the Whippet, for tonight's matchup between the Ottawa Glendorf Titans and the Shelby Whippets. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Darren Gilbert, and we got an onside kick try to begin this one. And Gilly, was it an onside kick, or did he just? I mean, all, he, if boy, it, if oh boy. that was, a, if it was a not intentional, it looked certainly it did, turned out to be an onside kick. Yes. But, uh, you know, big matchup tonight, Gilly. Ottawa Glendorf came in. They pulled up the upset as the lower seed last week against Galleon in a low-scoring defensive effort. On the road. And those are the types of games that Ottawa Glendorf has been excelling in this season, those defensive battles. But they are in for one heck of a matchup here tonight against a very powerful Whippet team. Well, the Whippet team is strong on both sides of the ball. But if you had to – Pick a coach, especially in the Western Buckeye League. There's two coaches, I think, do a really good job in preparation, and that's Travis Moore at Wapak and also Mr. Ken Schreiner and his staff. They will come up with a game plan tonight to neutralize um, Shelby. And, you know, I had them against uh, Wapak and uh, they did a really good job at Wapak and and hung with them for roughly two, two and a half quarters. And then they shut out a really good bat team. So they know how to play, especially defensively, in preparation. So Ottawa Glendorf readies for their first possession of the game. They're going to hand this one off to Evers. As he's going to work off the left side. Gets around midfield for a nice gain on first down. Yeah, good, good uh, blocking up front. Grant Evers, he was just named second team at Western Buckeye League the other day. A thousand yard rusher. Uh, he had a great season, really helped this Ottawa Glendorf offense. At times, has, has struggled a little bit to score, and that's going to be something that they can't afford to do tonight. Ottawa Glendorf is never going to try to beat you in a shootout, but against this Whippet team, they're going to have to put points on the scoreboard. They're going to have to put points on the scoreboard, and they're going to have to mix things up, you know, um, defensively to try to keep Shelby off balance number one, Nate, and also to keep them off the field because, like you said, they are very potent um, as a football team, speaking of the whippets. And, uh, you know, unfortunately right there, OG just got caught with a penalty. Looked like a false start, which backed him up five yards, going to make him a second and, what, ten? It'll be second and ten for the Titans. And it's one of the things that Ottawa Glendorf can't afford to do tonight and that is to give away yardage to Shelby. And now here's Coleman in the shotgun. Takes the snap, fakes that handoff, going to try to go deep. And a great read on that side as his receiver recognized that that was going to hang up in the air. He worked back, and I couldn't quite see. I believe that that is. I think it was Deegan Miller, partner. Yeah, I think you're right. Sophomore, six foot three. He did, just did a really good job of recognizing where the football was and you know, I have to be Johnny on the spot, but, you know. Yeah, uh, we're, uh, we're a little far away here tonight. A, a beautiful oh, facility, facility. A, amazing press box. But uh, that a little added distance and, you know, a little bit of age these days. A little hard to read those numbers on that far sideline. But Miller does a nice job. He went up, got that one. And we have a first down for the Ottawa Glendorf. Titans, nice job working through traffic. Grant Evers as he is up near another first down. LaFon on the stop, the outside linebacker for the Whippets. You know, partner, you know, we had an opportunity to meet the AD from Shelby, and it's been a tough week for them. You know, unfortunately, they had a passing of a student this past Saturday, and uh, condolences to the family and to the Shelby community and also the football team. You know, that after a tough week, having to come out here and play football. Ottawa Glendorf going to keep it on the ground. They're going to get stopped short of that first down. It'll bring up third. And Yeah, I mean, you mentioned it, obviously, absolute tragedy that happened in this community. It's never easy when, you know, a young life is, is gone. And when you're dealing with those emotions and, you know, as a football team and a member of a community, especially small communities like Shelby, they kind of hit a little differently. Um, you know, but this Whippet team, they, they seem ready to go. Uh, kind of some renewed energy, you know, playing with uh, some purpose here tonight. And the Whippets, they have some personnel that, issues. And they're going to have to take the Metro yeah. Financial Services yep, a timeout. You're right. So with that, we'll step aside as well, and we'll be back on WOSN. 
listen. Welcome back. Tonight's Time Outs are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So Shelby has to burn the timeout early in this one on a big third down for the Titans. And you got to wonder if in this spot in the playoffs against a high-power team like Shelby, if this is two-down territory, if you don't oh, get you it. You got to believe that. But, but again, you know, in years past, they've also had a kicker that's capable of knocking in field goals. But, you know, that timeout is, is – uh, a blessing for Ottawa Glendorf because now they can get together as a staff having Shelby burn that timeout because of an equipment issue uh, plays into the hands of OG. Let's see if they can't capitalize on this. So Ottawa Glendorf knocking on the door of the Northwest Ohio Recycling Red Zone. As we're having I'm not a little sure bit what the delay is. Is here. that yeah. what it is? Okay. Yeah, the officials have letting everything get set. Yeah, how big would this be if the Titans could take this and convert a first down and keep the drive alive? So no, still they're looking up at the scoreboard. It looks like they're still trying to get some clock issues worked out. Not quite sure. It looks like the game clock looks correct. So not really sure what the issue is, but we have a stoppage right now. Everybody just kind of waiting around for the officials to blow the whistle so we can get this one back underway. Yeah, I'm not so sure. I'm not sure. You know, and this is one of those things, Gil, too. You know, this you have some of those nerves, right? You're in a playoffs. You're coming in. It's your first drive. You're the underdog. You got things going. And then everything just has to come to a screeching yeah. halt. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, at, at Coach Schreiner can't be happy with this long delay right now. Well, I think he liked the idea of the timeout, but then it turned right around. Oh, boy. And then, what they're, okay, now they're going to group them. They're going to let them reset. So Ottawa Glandorf gets a chance to get back into the huddle. And we are going to be good to go. Clock now running. I'm wondering I'm wondering if it's, it's the play clock. It's the play clock because it's stuck on 25. You know what I'm saying? I think that. That's that's the hold up, so they're gonna have to keep it on the field. So now we are back underway. Otto Glendorf waits for the snap on third and two. Coleman gonna hand this one off to Evers. He works through a little bit of traffic, a nice stutter. I think step that there. second effort got yeah, it. Absolutely, as he is gonna have enough for a Lee's famous recipe chicken first down. And the sticks will continue to move. Otto Glendorf now in the northwest Ohio recycling red zone. Great patience there by that young man. A little hesitation as he turned a corner. The guys up front in the blue hats, on the gray hats, got got just enough of a hole there for him to wiggle his way through and got it down to just about the 17. Well, and you got to think that Ottawa Glendorf watched a lot of that game film last week from the Elida Shelby game, and Elida had a lot of success early. Oh, they were yes. able to come in, they scored quickly, and you got to think Ottawa Glendorf felt good as that throw is going to be completed inside the 10 yard line. Great move that time. By oh, Deegan. second He's effort got him it. in. And Deegan Miller with the extra effort gets into the red zone. Or, excuse me, the touchdown. He gets the touchdown in the end zone. There's what I was that's looking a, for. That's okay, and partner. He got the, it across there into the red painted area. Yeah, that's right. And we got our first Dales concrete touchdown of the game. Ottawa Glendorf with a great opening drive. Well, what a heck of a pass there by that young man. So I mean, he the, threaded the needle, partner. So now you got the officials getting back together yet again here prior to the extra point attempt. And I think you're right. I think the play clock is what the issue is. As you see that kind of going down, they're going to have to keep that on the field, I'm guessing, as they try to work through that. So now Ottawa Glandorf with the extra point. Tyler Roon out. How big is that? You're coming on the road, you take it down your first possession, and you're going to get yourself – a seven to nothing lead. All right, kick is up and it is good. It's actually Cooper Fisher on the extra points. Excuse me. Ottawa Glandorf with a great opening drive. They have the early seven nothing lead. We'll step aside and be back on WOSA. Welcome back. Tonight's touchdowns are brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decatur Stepping in Lipsync. 
and Dales, a call for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. Ottawa Glandorf goes down the field without much trouble whatsoever. Pick up a couple of first downs, and they end up in the end zone after a Peyton Coleman touchdown pass to Deegan Miller. And, Gilly, you can't ask for much more of a, of a start for oh, goodness. if you're the Titan faithful. Yeah, I mean, you didn't have to. You got it in uh, great field position or what, around their 45-yard line. And, yeah, there's one that I think uh, OG would like to have back, kicking that thing to the far side over there, the far hash. And looks like it went out of bounds at about the 25. Yeah, that one's going to go out of bounds. So that will move the ball up and – a couple of issues on the kickoffs here to begin this one for both teams. Shall be led by Mr. DeVito. Heck of an athlete. Yeah, DeVito comes in setting all sorts of records here at Shelby, having an absolutely great season. Four offensive touchdowns, a defensive touchdown last week. He really leads this team. And we'll see if he can get off to a good start here tonight. He's going to hand this one off. Jet sweep as Shelby trying to stretch the field. Ottawa Glandorf does a nice job of flying to the football there as they're able to take down Brady Bowman. Good job there by Will Coleman coming up there from his linebacker spot, the six foot, 175 pound junior with the stop. So we know that this Ottawa Glendorf defense is extremely tough. They've had some really great games this season. This is a tough task for them here. Well, this first drive, I think, is going to tell a lot about where that defense is here tonight. They're going to go to the air. Try the other side. Here's Bowman working through tra traffic. Makes a couple of guys miss. He's able to stay on his feet. Oh, he's going to be close, isn't he? Yeah, he's taking down. Looks like they're going to mark him down at the 45-yard line. And that's going to be enough for a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Appeared to be Deegan Miller on the stop, along with Grant Evers, Evers. Seven minutes left to go here in the opening quarter. Shelby with their first possession of the game. DeVito back in the shotgun, five wide receivers. Going to look to air this one out, try to go downfield. Pump fake, goes across the middle of the field, has a wide open receiver at the Ottawa Glandor 45, so a 10-yard pickup, and then it'll be another Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Boy, it didn't take him long to get rid of that thing, did it? No. Wow, he put some mustard on that one. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, it's always impressive for me when you're watching high school quarterbacks is when you see a quarterback that can make his progressions and go through reads, and you just watch DeVito do that. He didn't lock on the one receiver and didn't determine panic. to throw. Nope. He worked through, found the open guy, and nice little pump fake, and they get the 10-yard completion. DeVito going to call his own number this time, keeps it down, goes right through the heart of that Ottawa Glendorf defense, and he is going to get taken down after about a six-yard gain. Guerrero on the stop there for the Titans. So you see Shelby trying to move quickly here. They're not going to huddle up. They get all the calls coming in from the sidelines. This is a very good Whippets team. They come in 11-0. They finished undefeated in the regular season for just the sixth time in school history. And they are back-to-back -back conference champions, but hoping for a little bit more and looking to have a positive result here on this opening oh, drive. Oh, big stop there by the Titans. Let's see who come away there. Appear to be Dylan Siefker coming in from his tackle spot, doing a good job with a swim move, getting by his offensive counterpart across from him and making the stop. Big play there. Just like we had talked about, that defense from Ottawa Glendor, very tough that time. Did a great job getting into the backfield quickly, forcing the, the yardage loss, and that's going to bring up third and long. DeVito going to swing this one out to Bowman. Bowman has some room, a lot of green. Makes one guy miss, bounces off a second before finally being taken down at the 35-yard line. And that is going to be enough for another Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Boy, he got ahead of steam up. Great job by his receivers. You know, leading the way with the block there, Vinny Brinkman with the tackle. But like you said, partner, not until he got to the 25 and got that first down. 
Brady Bowman has had a fantastic season, just recently named first team all-conference. And you can see why right there, his speed is electric. They're going to give it to him once again on the other side. He's going to try to beat guys to the outside. And I think that's what makes him so dangerous, as you saw right there. If the first guy doesn't get him down, he's going to have a five, six, seven-yard gain. And we have a tightened down injury timeout on the field. We'll take it as well and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Dylan Seifert was the injured Titan. He was able to walk off the field under his own power. So hopefully we'll see him back on the field sooner rather than later. Yeah, that's a big hit if you're the Titans because he just clogs up so many things that can happen from that defensive line position plus his experience as a senior. So now here's DeVito going to drop back, setting up the screen, able to get rid of it quickly. Here's Gumbert as he works through some traffic. And it looks like he's going to have enough for a first down, and he did, does, as that is another Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Yeah, Will Coleman on the stop. You know, if your linebackers and your second-tier guys, second level, are making your tackles and leading the team in tackles, that's not good. That means the offense is moving the ball with uh, some success. DeVito going to throw this one quickly back out to Bowman. Bowman has some blockers, and he's going to get taken down inside the five-yard line. The Whippets are driving here inside the Northwest Ohio Recycling Red Zone. Bowman on the stop along with Jordan Shoemaker. Hurry up offense for the Whippets. DeVito in the shotgun. He's going to throw it quickly to the outside. Bowman gets hit, bounces off the oh, would-be tackler. We got, we got some yellow on the field. As Bowman got into the end zone, but as you mentioned, there is a penalty. It's going to be holding against the Whippets, a huge penalty to keep Shelby off the scoreboard. Sure is. Yeah, because he broke a tackle to get his way into the end zone. Very uncharacteristic here of this Titan defense here in the early going. We are seeing them get their hands on the ball carriers, but they're just not bringing them Ooh. down. It's taking the second or third guy. But you know what? You know, give a lot of credit to the Whippets, the way they're attacking this thing. They're spreading Ottawa Glendorf out, and they're happy with just, just dumping the ball. You know, throwing the, throwing the bubble screens, throwing the, you know, the pitches and catches out into the flats and just letting their athletes go to work. So that is going to bring up a second and goal from the 18-yard line. As... That was Marcus Gumbert with the carry. Worked off that left side. Wow. Of speed out of him as he got the ball back down to the four. Powerful, powerful run there by that young man brought down by Grant. You know, Evers, Evers doesn't get him. He's going to march his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Looks like he's a little shaken up as he comes jogging off a little gingerly with that left shoulder. So Dennis Laughlin comes in for the Whippets. DeVito waits for the snap. And yeah, tried to go a little cadence call there, tried to get a cheapy, get that five-yard penalty on the Titans. They can get a first down, partner. Third and short. They're going to hand it off to Laughlin. He cuts back. Oh, and what he a ends great cut back. In the end zone for a, a Dales concrete touchdown. And the Whippets with a great opening drive of their own. All right, an extra point away from tying this one up. Yeah, Rump got him, but unfortunately he didn't get him until he got past the, the goal line there. Great cut back to get, find his way into the end zone. So now the Whippets have come out and... Uh, Usual formation here. They must be going for two. Now they're going to reset. Everybody's going to come to the ball, and now they'll get ready as they're going to kick the extra point. Caleb Stairs is got the, with oh, the extra that point try. That one was blocked. Appeared to be number five. 
the all-leaguer, Jaden Steckschold. He got a big Paul up there and just swatted that thing down. Huge momentum play for the Titans as they hold on to the 7-6 lead. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Also like to thank tonight's first down sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Wampak, Delphus, and St. Mary's, locally owned and operated. Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering too. Seven to six, Ottawa Glendorf on top after the block, extra point. And we'll see what adjustments the Shelby defense made as when Ottawa Glendorf had the ball for the first time, they didn't have much trouble moving it downfield. No, you know, and, and realistically, they got it in short field at their own 45-yard line, but uh, Shelby took the thing partner and got it and took it right down the field themselves. So another squib kick out of the whippets, fielded by the Titans. And Ooh, I think that somebody is Miller, blew that one up. As Miller got that My one on a goodness. hop and then didn't get too far before he was taken down. So Otto Glendorf is takeover, and they will begin their second drive on the 30-yard line. Yeah, let's see how they respond, speaking of the Titans. 2.09 left to go here in the opening quarter. Trying to see if Seifker's back in there. He's one of those two-way players for the Titans. 75, 51, 74. I do not see him in there. Coleman in the shotgun. Vinny Brinkman in the backfield with him. He's going to take the snap and look to air it out yet again. He's going to throw this one deep. I think Coleman that time got a little bit of happy feet as he saw the pressure coming, oh, and he yeah. got rid of that one quickly. Yeah, sure was. All started with number 44, Carson Holman with the pressure up front. 6'3", 210-pound senior, and he can really run. Plays with a high motor. And it is much easier said than done when you say, if he could have just held on to it for just yeah. another second with that yeah. pressure coming. Yeah. But it did look like Miller was get, gaining a step. If uh, Potentially had big play written all over it, but the Whippets able to hurry Coleman up, and that's going to bring up second and ten. Oh, I think we got an encroachment. And they're actually going to say false start. So that is going to go Ooh, against okay. the Titans. We saw a false start penalty on their first drive. They were able to overcome that. But you do not want these penalty yardages to start racking up. Okay. I'd have got booed then if I was in the stripes because I thought it was an encroachment. <laughs> there was a lot of movement up front. But the official from the backside came in and said, OG move first. So that's going to bring up second and 15. Coleman in the shotgun. He's going to hand this one off as I believe that is Brinkman. Yeah, Vinny Brinkman goes right through the middle of the defense. He picks up about five on the play. Bring up third and long. Yeah, LaFon on the stop. Listen to these numbers, partner. 108 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, one interception, one forced fumble. That's a heck of a year. Yeah, they have studs all over this defense. Him and Sam Gwartz, the other linebacker, 101 stops, 17 tackles for losses, six sacks. A lot of movement. I Let's think see. this one is going to be on. I think I'll be and quiet. It's going to be on Shelby this time. So <laughs> that yardage they gave up, they're going to get back. It's going to make this a little bit more manageable third down. So you can see that aggressiveness of Shelby coming oh, yeah. out here early. They want to jump that snap. They want, they're want they bringing that pressure as Ottawa Glendorf that time benefited from some of that over -aggression. Great way to get five yards. Absolutely. Coleman going to go to the air. Here comes the pressure. They set the screen up, able to complete it as Miller worked around a couple of different whippets before finally coming down. Looks like just shy of the first down marker, and Ottawa Glendorf is going to be forced to punt. Yeah, Gwertz was the first one defensively to to uh, put a hit on Deegan Miller. 
Kyler Williams come in there and cleaned it up. Looks like the Titans are going to decide to punt the football away. So after a great opening drive that ended in a touchdown, they go three and out on their second try. Clean punt as he's able to get this one down. It's going to be nicely done. Absolutely. He takes a Titan bounce and is going to roll all the way down inside the 10-yard line. A great punt for Ottawa Glendorf, and Shelby will get, begin this one deep in their own territory. Yes, sir. Nice punt there by that young man. We talked about how talented that this Shelby team is. You know, when you look at the first team all conference, as they <laughs> I noticed the that Midwest Ohio I, oh Athletic Conference. Oh my goodness, conference. they just dominated. Absolutely, they had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different players named to the first team. As you had Zayden Ream, Quentin Albert, Carson Holman, Braden Schardiger, Braden DeVito, Brady Bowman, Dennis LaFon, and Sam Gortz, all named first team all conference. And it's not hard to see why they've had the success that they've had so far this year. Boy, what a move right there. That, that young man has got some speed. He's got exceptional agility. And wow. Just a phenomenal run right there. Eight-yard gain on first down to bring up second and short. But before that, the quarter comes to an end. At the end of one, Ottawa Glendorf on top, seven to six. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's presenting sponsor is Putnam County Home Care and Hospice. Putnam County Home Care and Hospice, providing in-home medical care for over 50 years. Make sure and request Putnam County Home Care and Hospice for all your health care needs, where you are treated like family. Second and short for the Whippets here to begin the second quarter. DeVito looking to go deep, decides against it. Still going to scramble around back there. As you see, his legs are a huge asset for him, and he finds a wide open receiver. Great pitch and catch. As that was Nick Isert who comes down with that one, and that's going to be enough for a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Yeah, if you give him enough time to stand back there and pinpoint where he wants to throw the football, you know he's going to pick you apart, and great job right there by that young man stepping into the throw, and better catch there by number six, trying to see who that is. Esther, I believe, and on the stop, it was number three, Jordan Shoemaker. So it was pretty good coverage in that secondary, but they can't guard forever. DeVito kept that one alive, and now he's going to use his feet again to try to get the run going as he kind of scampered around, found a few holes, and when it was all said and done, comes away with a six-yard gain. He is fast. He's shifty. He's got a good arm. You know, you can tell why DeVito's had such Ooh. a great year and why he's set the records that he has so far. Stack Schulte on the stop there, but not until Mr. DeVito reeled off six yards with his feet. He's going to keep this one himself. Works off the right side. Makes a couple of guys miss. And man, is he fast. Ooh. As he quickly gets downfield, picks up about 12 on that carry. And it'll be another Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Yeah, he definitely got downhill, and he got downhill quick. Bellman on the stop. I'm not so sure Bellman doesn't get him right there by the ankles. I think he's on his way to the end zone. His acceleration his, oh. and his ability just to put his foot in the ground and go is nothing like I've seen out of any quarterback I've covered so far this year. Well, take your pick. You know, number one, Mr. Gumbert's not too doggone uh, – too bad himself. Oh, my, nice hit right there by the Titans. As you saw, Gumbert, Schulte. Gumbert tried to cut that one back to the inside, but the Titans were there to take him down after a gain of just two. 10.05 and counting here in the second corner. Out of Glendorf on top, 7-6, to six, but the Whippets are driving. Horseman on the stop also for the Titans. Young man's been on a couple last couple plays there defensively. DeVito waits for the snap. He's going to drop back and rolls back. Looking to go deep. Gets it along the sideline. Great pass. Great catch. 
as DeVito is able to connect with Brady Bowman yet again. And that is once again going to give them another Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down as the Whippets are just carving up this Titan defense. Well, I'm telling you what, he got his feet set, and like you said, he ripped it and got him right over here on the boundary. Nice pitch and catch. Knew exactly where his teammate was. Nice delivery. Davida's going to hand this one off as you see Gumpert gets tripped up just as he was getting ready to hit that hole. And I don't know if Glendorf might be fortunate that he lost <laughs> his footing because yeah. there was a big space for him to run through. Yeah, I think he got, you know, one of his linemen got a foot in the road and he tripped over the top of it. It's going to be second and eight inside Northwest Ohio Recycling Red Zone. Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392. DeVito working through more traffic. Cannot get taken down by the first man as he picks up a few extra yards, gets down to the five, and it will be first in goal. Yeah, a little low. Uh... Design of a quarterback draw right there, drawn up by the whip. It's well executed. Nice job by the five offensive linemen, creating some space for Mr. DeVito, and he's going to march himself down there to the five on a first and goal for the Whippets. This Titan defense needing to stand up here, try to hold the Whippets. DeVito going to roll to his right, looks for an opening. As the defense did a great job that time of tracking him, not giving him any room, and they're going to drop him for about a three-yard loss. Good job there by Kuhlman on the stop. Dane Dooling also coming up for the Titans. Horseman on the cleanup. Good job there by the Titans stringing it out. That's a big loss, about, what, four yards, partner? Yep, and it just pushes them a little bit farther back. So second and goal. Number going to take the handoff, work off the right side. He tried to cut it back yet again, but the Titans did a great job of stretching the field, making sure that all the gaps were filled, and there was no gain on that one to bring up third and goal. Evers on the stop there for the Titans. Putting him in a third and what, about eight? It looks like they got a mark down on the seven-yard okay. line. So, yeah, so it's going to be third and goal from the seven as the Titan defense have come up big here in back-to-back -back plays. DeVito with four wide receivers, waits in the shotgun. Gonna take the snap. Going to roll away, looking for space. Going to let this one fly. Ooh, and a great wow. defensive play that time. Sure by was. Gage Fellman as he came underneath that throw to knock that one down and to bring up fourth. Can you imagine he'd have got two poles on that? He Now, he wouldn't have got to the end zone, but he'd have got him 20, 25 yards. I mean, that was a great play there. You know, he's trying to thread the needle, and that young man got in there, Mr. Bellman, and deflected it. Oh, let's see what uh, the Whippets are going to do. Are they going to go for it or are they going to try to play for three? Uh, looks like they're going to go okay. for it. DeVito back out. Four wide receivers, fourth from the seven-yard line. What One thing we're finding out is the ability right now to kick the football is not a strong point for the Whippets. So the Whippets decide that they want to talk about it first. They are going to take the Metzger Financial Services timeout. We will as well return here on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Whippets take the timeout. They want to make sure they got things right here on this big fourth down. DeVito. 
Drops back, looks to air it out, going to throw it across the middle, and that one is going to be broken up. No flags on the play as the Titan defense comes up with a huge stand wow. in the shadows of their own end zone. Yep, what a great job defensively led by Steck Schulte along with freshman Shoemaker at the goal line, getting the deflection right there, keeping and nullifying Shelby the opportunity to get into the end zone to take the lead. What a comp big confidence booster for the Titans. And after the Whippets were easily able to move that ball down the field, as I believe that drive started inside their own 10-yard line. Ottawa Glendorf's defense finally got the stops they needed, and they're going to take over on the 7-yard line. Coleman going to hand this one off to Evers. Evers makes another man miss, takes on another, bounces off another as he comes up with a tough run and picks up six or seven on the carry. Yeah, the young man, he happened to meet in the collisions, very slow getting up. Yeah, and he's coming out. He's holding his left forearm, left shoulder. Yeah, he tried to meet Evers right there in the hole, and that did not go well for him. As, as number I think six, that's Nick Easter. Eister, yeah. Or Eister, yeah. And he, uh, he had a big catch on offense. But, yeah, you're right. He definitely a little shaken yeah, up. Yeah, he's after dinged up, that isn't hit. he? That left shoulder area, maybe he's got a stinger. Going to be second and three for the Titans. Yeah, they're checking the shoulder collarbone area. Coleman in the shotgun. Going to hand it off to Evers yet again. That left side worked great the first time. It works even better the second as he has a big gain in another Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. My goodness, the men up front right there creating spaces and gaps for Mr. Evers to wiggle his way down that far sideline in front of OG's bench for that first down. How big would this be, partner, if OG could take about five minutes off the clock and punch one in on the road going in at halftime? Yeah, absolutely. Shelby's going to get it, this one coming out of the locker room and if you're the Titans, you want to keep the ball out of their hands as much as possible. Coleman, going to hand this one off, but there is a whole host of whippets in the backfield as this one is going to get dropped for a loss of about three. Yeah, all started with number 74, Schnardiger, six foot, 235 pound junior. Big play there by that young man from his defensive tackle spot. Second and long coming up for Ottawa Glendorf. We haven't seen too many negative plays out of them yet tonight. Not a good way to start this fresh set of downs. Oh, there comes a blitz on the edge corners and they found him right down the seam, didn't he? Yeah, they did. Little Not quick a slant. Not a great snap. The pressure came quick, but they were able to find Evers on that very quick slant play. And didn't even look like the greatest pass from Coleman either, but either way, it was effective. It worked. It's all the blitz, didn't he? Absolutely. I mean, he ran the hot route, and, and he found who he needed to find. And nice pitch and catch. Big first down. Out to the 33. It's going to be first and 10 on the Titan 33-yard line. Coleman going to hand this one off. Evers has to spin off with some contact as the Whippets now are finding some space. Oh, they're coming, they're, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're pushing that offensive First line. First and of second the level players are coming. I mean, they're bringing backers. They're sliding up some corners. So Evers did enough work to at least get him back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten. Coleman waits the snap. Got to hand it off to Evers. Evers tries to cut back to the inside, but no going there as he picks up about one. Yeah, good job right there by Snartiger on the stop. Kyler Williams also assisting from his defensive end spot. Hometown Whippets fans are starting to get a little into the game here. Yeah, trying making to, sense. This is a big third oh, down. Oh, absolutely. 
And now I believe it's going to be the Titans that take the timeout. We got another timeout on the field. We'll take it as well and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Coleman on third down, going to swing it out to Evers. Evers got to make a man miss, and he's able to do it. What a great job of straddling that sideline as we'll see. And no, he was not as the uh, closest official said he stepped out of bounds where from our vantage point, it looked like maybe he had made it. He somebody somebody got just enough contact with him. I think it appeared to be number five, Sam Gwertz. But if he doesn't get a hand on him, he's going to tiptoe that sideline over there and get a first down for the Titans. Gwertz with a nice play right there, saving Ottawa Glandorf from four fresh downs and more so the opportunity to take more time off the clock. Ottawa Glandorf being forced to punt here. And we're going to have a whistle prior to Delay the snap. Game. Delay a game. It will push Ottawa Glendorf back five yards, and they will try it again. Four oh nine left to go here in the half as Ottawa Glandorf wasn't able to do much after that big defensive stand, and they're being forced to punt it back to the Whippets. Yeah, the last time the Titan punted, they got a really, really good punter. Let's see if he can't match that effort this time also. Able to get this one off a clean low line drive as it will take a Titans bounce yet again. We'll see if it stays in bounds, and it does as it rolls all the way down to the 17-yard line. A great punt by the Titans, and Shelby will once again have to start deep in their own territory. Yeah, nice punt. Um, now, he didn't get a lot of lift on it, but he banged it and hit off that turf, and it just took a Titan roll and kept rolling and rolling and rolling. So let's see what uh, the Whippets can do here. If you're the Titans, let's try to keep them out of the end zone and maintain this 7-6 to six lead as we go into intermission here with, what, 327 to get, or 357, excuse me. Now, shall we, just with the one timeout left, under four minutes left to go here in the half, they didn't have a lot of trouble moving the football last time they had it until they got it inside the 10-yard line. Vito going to swing this one out to Bowman. Bowman makes a guy miss, cuts back to the inside. Second guy can't bring him down. But then several of the Titans defenders able to get to him and drop him after about a five-yard gain. Yeah, that started with Bowman and also the freshman Shoemaker. Boy, Shoemaker's going to be a good football player. Heady, six-foot, 165-pound freshman playing in a OHSA second round game, boy, he's just all over the place. He was one of them that made the play there at the goal line, forcing the fourth, you know, four and out for the Whippets' his last possession. Bowman going out wide. DeVito looks to go to the air, going to roll to his right. Wants to let it go. Had the receiver open for a moment, but couldn't get rid of it. As he, now he throws back to the middle of the field. This one's going to be complete. As Brock Fisher is met by pretty much the entire Ottawa Glendorf defense there before the whistles are blown, but not before he picks up a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Well, give Dueling a lot of credit. He did not let DeVito beat him with his legs right there and forced him into making that throw. The good thing is if you're the Titans, you're keeping the football in front of you, taking some time off that clock. 2.45 and counting here in the second quarter. First and 10 for the Whippets, DeVito. Loves to be able to throw on the run off of his back foot as that was a tremendous defensive play. Take a I'll look who what, it is, partner. Jordan Shoemaker comes flying over, and he timed that perfectly as he was able to knock that out of Avery Lambert's hands. Tell me, is he playing like a freshman? No, oh, my absolutely goodness. not. Boy, did he close on that. 
So a tremendous defensive play by that young man as Shoemaker Yes, second and ten for the Whippets. 2.32 to go. Now with the clock stopped, DeVito going to hand this one off. Gembert going to go right up the middle, and he's able to pick up about seven on that one. Brinkman and Dooling on the stop for the Titans. Going to bring down a third and a long two for the Whippets, it appears. See the Whippets not in too much of a hurry yet. Still two minutes left to go on the clock. They do have a timeout. Ottawa Glendorf trying to get a stop here. Looks they like they're going with a big package right here, aren't they? Got a couple big tight ends in the ball game. DeVito going to call his own number. He's going to pick up that first down as he gets out to midfield before he's dropped. And that is going to be a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken located in Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Locally owned and operated, Lee's is not just famous for chicken. We're famous for catering, too. Dueling on the stop. Shoemaker on the stop. Stack Shorty, just to name a few. Now a minute 35 left to go. Shelby still not seeming to be in too big of a hurry. A little bit of a surprise here. We think they'd they still have 50 yards left to go, but they're taking their time getting everybody lined up. You know, and I'm not so sure they've seen a defense like this. You know, Audible Glandorf over the years, you know, earlier this year, partner, they beat a, a you know good bat team, shut them out 26 to nothing. DeVito a little frustrated as he was confused, it looked like, on what they wanted to do in that formation. So they are forced to burn their last time out. We'll take it as well and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. I'd also like to thank tonight's premier sponsor for the Ottawa Glendorf Titans, Ohio Logistics. Ohio Logistics provides all the assets and operational support necessary to meet your most sophisticated logistics requirements. Ohio Logistics, the smart move. To learn more, visit OhioLogistics.com. DeVito out of trouble. He's going to go long as he had two receivers in the area, and I think they got a little crossed up there as that one fell to the turf. Boy, the pressure that Ottawa Glendorf is putting on right now is presenting some problems and challenges for Shelby's offensive line. Now, granted, partner, OG's only bringing three. They're bringing eight back into the secondary, second, third level, so give credit to the three guys up front for the Titans. Big thing for Ottawa Glendorf here in this last minute and 10 and even into the second half, that secondary is going to have to find a way to defend for just a little bit sure. longer. The mobility of DeVito right now is what is keeping Shelby alive in these plays. Second and 10, DeVito going to roll yet again. Looks for his receiver. Here comes the pressure. He's going to dump it short. And he is getting the looks he wants as he's wanting his receivers to get deep. And some of those guys look like they're going to be open. He's a little frustrated. He can't do much about it because, as you mentioned, Ottawa Glendor finding a way to bring pressure with just three guys. You know, those eight guys dropping back are all covering those areas. Good pressure there applied by Vinny Brinkman. It's been a great adjustment by Ken Schreiner and his coaching oh, staff. Oh, they're always prepared, partner. They're always prepared. Going to be third and ten, a minute four left to go here in the half. You know, how big is that timeout for the equipment adjustment for Shelby that they had to burn? Huge. And we're going to have another whistle. This one's going to get blown dead. And there's going to be a delay of game. So nothing going right right now for the Whippets. Yeah, the momentum right now is for the visitors. You know, 103 to go. They're just hoping to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? And maintain that 7-6 to six lead. Well, if you're Ottawa Glendorf, you might be thinking about, a, you know, we may have a chance here. We got two timeouts left sure. to go. You think they're probably going to go to the air here if you can force an incompletion. Good call. 
DeVito, lots of time. Here comes the pressure. He's going to throw it. Oh, and what a hit. And this one is bounced off the hands of Nick Isert. And then a huge hit was delivered by Grant Evers. That's one of those peekaboo, I see you coming 1-8. And just took his eye off the football just enough for Evers to lay the wood right there. Popping actually, that football loose. And I think actually that was number four. That was Caden Price who took that hit for Shelby. So Michael Shepard back waiting for the punt for the Whippets as they're going to be punting for the first time tonight. 54 seconds left to go. This one's going to be a short one. And it is going to check up right at the 30-yard line. So about nine seconds came off at the clock. Ottawa Glenorf will take over at the 30-yard line. So a little ways to go here, but you do have two timeouts. Is one of the downfalls here of this Ottawa Glendorf Titan offense, so they are not built to have to cover this kind of ground and score quickly. Well, let's just see what he does on these first couple plays. We have seen them go deep here in this one. They've hit a couple of slams. They're not afraid to let Peyton Coleman air it out, but you also got to think they don't want to risk a turnover. Coleman going to hand this one off to Evers. Evers. Goes right into a whole host of whippets before he's driven backwards, but not before he picks up about three. And no timeout being burned here. So Ottawa Glendorf happy to go to the locker room with the one-point lead. They are going to have to snap it at least one more time here. Fourteen seconds left to go in this one. Or those excuse me, you, this half at least. Those of you wondering why the play clock is not working. We've had an issue with it early in the first half, and the officials are controlling the and, 25 second yep, clock. And the Titans did not have to snap it, so that is going to bring the first half to a close as the Titan defense comes up with some big stops to keep the Whippets out of the end zone late in the second quarter. And they will go to the locker room with the one-point lead. We'll step aside and be back with the second half here on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's scoreboard is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Tonight's first downs are brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Locally owned and operated, Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering, too. Welcome back to Shelby High School. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Darren Gilbert. And, Gil, not really the first half I think anybody really saw coming. You know what? But it's been a really well-played game as far as fundamentals by both both teams. Uh, seven to six, you're going to say, well, that's a boring game. It's been very entertaining to watch. And uh, OG's done a phenomenal job defensively slowing down a really good Shelby team. And OG's always been known for their defense, and it's showing right now. And, and Shelby's frustrated. You could tell there's signs of frustration. You know, Shelby, you know, put themselves against the wall, so to speak, because they burned a couple timeouts, and when they had the ball that last possession the first half, they had no timeouts to show for it. And uh, OG, you know, got the stops they needed to, and they're ahead 7-6 to six as we enter this third quarter. And this will be a big first drive for the Whippets. As you mentioned, you could see that frustration building on that last drive right before halftime, and they ended up having to punt that one away. It was really the second half last week, too, you where made, yeah, Shelby You made a great point really with that. They, they put the pedal to the metal, didn't they, the second half? Yeah, they, they made the adjustments against Elida, and they were able to, to come out of the locker room and, and put quite a few points up. So we'll see if they make those same types of adjustments here or if Ottawa Glendorf is able to hold them. DeVito did a little bit of everything in that first half. He's going to take this first snap, keep it himself, works off the right side, working through that traffic. Oh, nice tackle. And he is taken down after a gain of about three. He moves around a lot. He's fast. You can see the explosion. He, he moves laterally very, very well. But a lot of that movement sometimes comes in the same amount of space. He kind of ran on the line. So even 
With all that running, only able to pick up about four. Yeah, Will Coleman just nosedived him, got him around the ankles and brought him down. He's had a heck of a first half, Mr. Coleman, the junior. Maybe they're going to hand this one off. Here's Gumbert as he works his way up, and he will pick up a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Trevor Rump there on the stop. So Shelby comes out, able to pick up a first down. And right now, doing it all with the legs. They are trying to see if they can't put a dent into this OG defense. I think the huge part of this is they're trying to figure it out and finding out where the weakness is. And right now, OG's playing on all cylinders. Five wide receivers for DeVito. Going to air this one out. Trying to go deep. Looking to oh, load look up. Look at the pressure. And, and I think we're going to get a hold. Yeah, absolutely. Somehow, DeVito doesn't go down as he was pulled all the way through. Great effort by that young man as he made a positive out of a negative but I think it's going to be all for naught. Sure and, is, partner. And that is going to be a hold on the offense, and I'll drop him back 10 yards. Boy, oh, boy, the quickness. There's no team in Northwest Ohio playing any better football than Ottawa Glendorf. You know, everybody's saying, well, they're only 6-5. and five. They're 6-5. and five. You know what? They've won three of their last four regular season games. No, excuse me. They won uh, – they split two and two, but they went over to Galleon last week and beat them 13-7. to seven. Uh, <laughs> Shut out Lima Bath, who's winning tonight, 26 to nothing. That's a big, big penalty right there on the Whippets. If you're Ottawa Glandorf, you know, you just got to settle in defensively and keep the football in front of you and don't give up the big play. So now first and 20 here for Shelby. DeVito going to keep it himself, works through some traffic. He's going to get taken down after a pickup of about, we'll say, about six or seven. Yeah, Kuhlman got him by the ankles, Will Kuhlman, and tripped him up. But like you said, that's a, that's a big gain there for the Whippets. Yeah, that's what makes DeVito so dangerous, oh. even on first and 20. All it takes is a, a carry. Now you're, you're not quite back on schedule yet but a lot more manageable here on second down. You know, give the Titans credit right now, partner. They haven't give up the big play. Knock on wood. There goes DeVito going to swing this one out. So Vinny Brinkman almost able to get his hands on that one. But it's completed, and they pick up about another five, and so it'll be third and long. But after a first and 20, a couple of downs ago, third and seven not looking so bad. Coleman on the stop along with number 13, Dane Dooling. Boy, if you're the Titans, you got to like this. Third and a long seven. Still just three guys up on the front for Ottawa. They are trying to get pressure with just enough guys so they can keep the extra help back. And we are going to have a early timeout yet again. A lot of what we saw in the first half in that first quarter, Shelby's going to take the Metro Financial Services timeout. We will as well, and we'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metro Financial Services helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So Shelby has to take the early time out to get personnel right. And now DeVito going to fling this one deep and just out of the reach of his intended receiver, Nick Eister. And that was one where Eister had a couple of white jerseys bearing down on him, one coming from up front, and I'm sure that got into his vision at least a little bit. You know, I and, and again, Nate, I don't know if Shelby has seen a defense like this all season long. You know, the way they play it, the way they structure it, the fundamentals that they do right there. I mean, they had everything spread out there. And Ottawa Glandorf just covered their areas enough to put DeVito in a tough spot on where to go with it. And it fell to the ground. Another incomplete pass. 
Shelby able to get the punt away cleanly after a short pickup. Ottawa Glendorf will come out and they'll take over for their first drive of the second half on the 25-yard line. Big possession here for the Titans, huh? Did their job defensively, got the stop they wanted. And aided by the holding penalty, Ottawa Glendorf is able to get the whippets off the field. And now we'll see if they can move the ball outside of their opening drive. They have struggled to do that. And they could really use a long drive here. Kuhlman back in the shotgun, going to take the snap, hands this one off to Evers. Evers has absolutely no space inside there as he had to try to drive that pile. He did manage to pick up about three on that carry. But a lot of those holes and running Ooh. lanes that Evers had early have kind of dried up here as this game has moved on. Yeah, Mr. Oney, number 79 from the defensive tackle position, said not so fast, my friend, and met him head on right there. Got he, he did get three yards, but Mr. Oney brought him down and brought him down quickly. Second and seven. It's Kuhlman going to hand this one off yet again. No, he pulls that one back. He's going to throw it out wide. Oh, Ottawa boy. Glendorf, one guy to beat, and he is going to be gone. 20-10-5, touchdown, Ottawa Glendorf. How about the block that Dueling performed on DeVito? And DeVito was the last He put guy him on his there. back. And DeVito, you got to give him some credit. He tried to see if he couldn't maybe get that penalty as he actually did most of the holding as those two were locked up. DeVito ends up on the ground. No flag thrown. And on a huge play for Ottawa Glandorf. They are an extra point away from making this a 14-6 game. Well, and Ethan Metzger is one of the most improved players in Northwest Ohio. He's got exceptional speed and a nice uh, ability to catch the football with soft hands. And once he got it, it will turn into a foot race. But then again, you know, Dane Dooling started it right there, partner. As the extra point is up and good, Ottawa Glandorf after the Dales Concrete touchdown is up 14 to 6. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's touchdown sponsor is Dales Concrete. All Dales Concrete, decorative stamping, and lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Tonight's Red Zone sponsors, Northwest Ohio Recycling. Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora, paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392. Ottawa Glandorf on the back of a huge play, able to extend this lead to 14-6, to give themselves a little bit of cushion here in this third quarter. And, Gilly, that is something that you don't usually see out of the Titans. They're not known for their big play potential, but that was a great timely one there. Boy, I'm telling you, when Metzger gets the ball in his hands, do you notice the, tight, the Titans have come in here with a yeoman's work effort of, you know, that hard hat and that lunch pail? And I mean, they're just laying it on the line right now. Oh, the Whippets going to take this one, and they're going to get stopped right around the 30-yard line. That is where they will come back out to work. Is My DeVito, goodness. I think you, you're really going to have to see oh. what he can do here. Mm -hmm. You saw some frustration creeping in at the end of the first half. Yeah, because I don't think Shelby's been in this position before. Now, granted, it's only a touchdown and a two-point game, but, you know, OG's got them on their heels right now. Yeah, not a lot this season. That, um, the Whippets have found themselves down in the second half. This undefeated season, they're going to need DeVito to come up big and a great move there as DeVito continues to move around. Ooh, may have a and face mask. May, yep, there may be a face mask on that one. We'll wait and see for sure, but DeVito, nice little pump fake to get the defense to start moving one direction as he took advantage and went inside. And Ooh. actually, and it is going to be a face mask, but I believe it's going to be on DeVito. Okay, I quit. <laughs> I, that's twice tonight that I've done that. I give up. 
And I got look, new glasses. That was uh, the, the call was right, but like you said, it was on Devito. And you know, it looked all, he was trying to do the stiff arm, and as he was bouncing around, and as he went, he pulled that face mask down, got the defender going the wrong direction, and fortunate for boy, um, oh fortunate boy. for Shelby, it's 15 yards from the spot of the foul. So he had gotten up to the 40-yard line, 15 yards back. It's only going to be first and 15, so the damage is minimal. I would love to know how many times Shelby has been behind the chains like this. Yeah. It's, it's been yeah. at least three times tonight alone, but I'm talking about during the regular season. Yeah, well, absolutely. And it's back-to-back -back possessions we've seen it. They were at first and 20, last possession before having to punt it, and now here they are at first and 15. DeVito going to hand this one off. Good job right there by the Titans stringing that thing out. And oh, my just goodness. Took he took right it right away out of his him. hands. As An official on this side Ethan is going to call Metzger. him down. And I'll tell you what, you saw Metzger go right after that football, trying to pull that one away from, I believe that that was number 30, Dennis Laughin. And Shelby very lucky that there was an official standing right there. As Metzger tried to pull that one and run that in, if they would have came up with that mm. one, that the the air would have been sapped from this stadium. But it wasn't. Shelby keeps possession of it, and it's going to bring up second and 11. DeVito going to cut back up to the middle. Makes a couple of guys miss as he's going to get taken down just shy of the 35-yard lines. It'll be third and long for the Whippets. And again, here you go. Titans, you got them third and seven. The game plan that you're presenting is working. You're milking time off the clock. You're keeping Shelby on the field. But then again, the clock is running. I hand this one off. Laughing. Or excuse me, that's Gumbert. As he is able to go right up the middle. As that offensive line did a great job yeah, of opening did. some space, and he picks up a Lee Simmons recipe chicken first half. Yeah, the right side there, second gap, the B gap, did a really good job right there, opening it up between the guard and the right tackle. We got a whistle on the field as they are trying to get the game clock reset. Well, Shelby's trying to change the momentum of the game. They're trying to change the tempo, going no huddle. We saw them have success in that first half when they try to speed things up. They're trying to replicate that here in the third quarter. DeVito going to carry it himself as he is going to pick up about three on that one, bring up second and seven. Evers on the stop, but a really good job turning the thing back inside was Mr. Dooling along with uh, Tough Nose. Jalen Steckshold, he did a good job shedding that block. And boy, if you're an offensive lineman and you you know you're only going against three, you've got to get to those second level players. And OG does such a good job moving laterally and closing on the football. Five ten here and left to go here in the third quarter. Second and seven for the Whippets. Devito looks to air this one out. Wants to go deep. Has his receiver. And oh, great play this there one. by Evers. And actually, it almost looked like that was a better play by Brady yeah. Bowman as he kind of had to turn. Yeah, he had to turn into the defender, make sure that Evers didn't come away with that interception. That wasn't a bad thrown ball. It really wasn't. Maybe a little underthrown, but again, give credit to Ottawa Glandorf. They are stride for stride right now with the Whippets at their skill positions. Yeah, I think that one, you know, if. Uh, DeVito gets another opportunity on that one. He's going to put a little bit more air underneath that as Bowman had a step on Evers. They had something going there, but when he underthrows that one, Evers did a nice job of getting his body turned. And fortunate for Shelby, he didn't come up with that interception. DeVito going to air it out yet again across the middle. Oh, this what one a great is going to get hit. yard open as that one looked completed. But two Ottawa Glendorf defenders come in to knock that one right out of the hands of Avery My Lambert. My goodness. Trevor Rump, number 20, 
And I'm trying to see who the other one was. Was that Steck Schulte? But I'm telling you, they laid the wood. The Shelby receivers tonight are going to start getting a little gun shy as this game goes on. They've taken some lickings tonight. You know, and admittedly, not very familiar with the MOAC. I haven't seen a lot of those teams. I do know Ontario is in that league, and they have an Ohio State commit um, on that team. But I, I would be hard-pressed to believe that Shelby has found or played a team this season that is as physical as I've Oh, my North. goodness gracious. That Western Buckeye League, you know, top to bottom again, the comments are going to be made. Six and five, Ottawa Glendorf. All right. You take a look at how many teams from the Western Buckeye League made the playoffs, number one. Number two, how many of them are still alive? Well, my, and my argument always when people want to start, well, six and five or whatever, you know, even if you look at Delphi St. John's who were three and seven, right, not all records are made the same. Exactly. Coolman going to air this one out, going to try to go deep. Has that one a little bit under? Oh, did we going to get a flag? And no flag okay. on that one as Deegan Miller – Tried to come back at the last minute, but couldn't gather that one in. My goodness, those uh, those uh, wide receivers do such a good job locating the football. And if they have to come back to it, they're Johnny on the spot, make an effort to come back. Now, I think, partner, if I'm not mistaken, I think Galleon is in the OAC, which is a conference school, obviously, that, that Ottawa Glend Glendorf played last week. And your belief is correct, as I do have the Moak standings here. As you see, Evers takes that handoff. Not a lot of room. So he's going to get dropped for no gain. Galleon came in third at, behind Shelby and Ontario, a four and three conference record, seven and four overall. Yeah, I saw tonight on the board they had the scores up at halftime, and Ontario was was doing well tonight. It appears they're on their way to a win, at least the first two quarters, if, if you can call that a complete game. But you got to play the game for four quarters. But they had a substantial lead at halftime. Big third down here for the Titans. Under four left to go in the quarter. Vinny Brinkman in the backfield alongside Coleman. Coleman going to give it to Brinkman. Brinkman has nowhere to go as he is swallowed up by that Shelby defense. Yeah, they were waiting on that one. They, You know what? They're, they're in a position as a defensive coordinator. They've got to start making something happen with the defense to try to either, one, create a turnover or get them in a third and long situation or put them in behind the change where they're going to have to punt it. And that's exactly what they did right there. Big stop there by the Whippets defensively. So fourth down, Ottawa Glendorf forced the punt. They've been pretty good in the punt game so far tonight. And we'll see if they can get another good one here. Just had got that one away clean. There's a little contact oh, on the back end. Oh, another huge punt. And a great bounce. This one is going to go all the way inside the 35-yard line as Ottawa Glandorf's punt game continues to be a difference maker here in this one. Yeah, special teams and kicking game. You know, Shelby does not have that place kicker, so to speak, and they went for two and missed it. And the young man from Ottawa Glandorf has been perfect two for two on his extra points, and yeah, that's and I, why we're looking at a 14 to six game. I had it written down, but I can't find where who blocked. I believe was it Shoemaker that had that blocked extra point earlier in this one. I believe it was somebody. You know, went in there and got a paw on it, didn't they? So that could end up being a huge one in this one, depending on how these last quarter and a half goes. But Shelby trying to oh quick strike boy. quickly, and they do as DeVito is able to connect with his receiver who goes all the way in for the touchdown. Yeah, he got he he got no air under that one. I mean, he threaded the needle right there and streaking down the sidelines and beautifully thrown ball. Great catch, great uh, finish there by the Whippets. Crossing that goal line, making it 14 to 12. That was Avery Lambert on the touchdown reception. He was running free along that sideline. DeVito made a great throw, and just like that, Shelby back in this one. 
We'll see if they try to go for two here. Yeah, and I've got to correct myself. They didn't go for two. You're right. That was a blocked extra point that made the separation seven to six. Now we're going to see the Whippets go for two to try to knot this thing up at 14-14, or it's going to stay at 14-12. and 12. See Bowman go in motion. As he's going to go out wide. DeVito going to throw across the middle. As this one is going to be okay, complete. Okay, it's caught. I got lost where that one went, but either way, the officials got together. They said they were in, and we are tied at 14. Shelby, they scored quickly. They got it tied. Ottawa Glendorf will get the ball back when we return on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's touchdowns are brought to you by Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Our presenting sponsor tonight is Putnam County Home Care and Hospice. Putnam County Home Care and Hospice, providing in-home medical care for over 50 years. Make sure and request Putnam County Home Care and Hospice for all your health care needs, where you are treated like family. Coming off of a great punt by the Ottawa Glendorf Titans, Shelby took one play to go almost 75 yards as Avery Lambert was able to get into the end zone. And following the two-point conversion, we are all tied at 14 with 245 left to go in the third. Yeah, very well-thrown ball. Great route run there down the far seam and took it all the way to the end zone. Broke a tackle. So another short kick as Ottawa Glandorf gets this one out near the 40-yard line. See, the run game not have a lot of luck on the last possession. Shelby did a great job of getting into the backfield. OG with really nowhere to go. And honestly, here, um, I'd say over the last quarter or so, the run game from Ottawa Glandorf really has been non existent. No, they, they haven't had a lot of space. They're exactly it's, right. It's been the pass game, surprisingly, for OG that's been successful. Yeah, they're loading the box up. They're putting seven and eight in the box and making Ottawa Glandorf throw the football. They're going to try to run it here yet again, but not a lot of space. Pick up about one will bring up second and nine. Carson Holman on the stop. Yeah, Ottawa Glendorf's got to be careful because you can start to sense the momentum starting to shift just a little bit. The crowd is, you know, back into the game. Ottawa Glendorf has had the fans on their, you know, sitting on their hands here for this first half, but... Uh, Big possession for the Titans. They've got to find something, get a couple first downs, you know, and, and continue to, to work the clock to get themselves into the fourth quarter. Metzger in motion. He's going to take this one. Works off the edge as we have a flag on the field. Metzger does a nice job getting up near the first down marker, but where that flag came in from doesn't look really good for the Titans. Yeah, it appears to be the far guy over there is going to get a hold. As you can see, Kuhlman just starts walking backwards. And that's exactly what it is. Hold on, Ottawa Glandorf is going to get negate a nice run by uh, Metzger. And now this drive just got a little bit longer for the Titans. Yeah, if you're the Titans, you've got to be sitting there waiting to see what... Uh Shelby's going to do defensively if they're going to bring the house and, and start blitzing. Just going to have to see what we're going to do here this last 148 to go here in this third quarter. Delayed handoff up the middle. Here's Evers as he nice continues run. just to churn his legs, dives for a little extra yardage there at the end. And he's going to bring up third and long. LaFon on the stop, the leading tackler for Shelby. Haven't called his name quite as much tonight as normal. Ottawa Glendorf done a really good job, you know, blocking that young man and keeping him away from the football. Big play there by that young man, though. Third and 13 for the Titans. They're going to have to get up near midfield to pick up this first down. Kuhlman going to roll to his left. Looks to get rid of it as this one is going to be too low 
as the Titans will be forced to punt yet again. Yeah, good job there by the whip. It's the pressure that was applied. It all started with number 51. Trying to take a look and see who that is. Oh, there he is. That's Mr. Kyler Williams. Getting a little dark up here, partner. Yeah, it is. This is where Ottawa Glendorf's got to be very, very careful because the last time they punted, they almost got the thing blocked. It looks like Shelby trying to overload that left side. Here they come. Nice job by the Titans to block that one. This is another excellent punt that is going to be down at the 19-yard line. And it just spun and stopped wow. once it got inside the 20. He's had some boomers. Not a lot of air under it, but whoo. Got a big leg. So here comes the Shelby offense. They weren't on the field for a long time. Last possession as it just took one play to get into the end zone. As they are going to try to see if they can't take the lead here. Yeah, one of their counterparts tonight in their league, Ontario, a winner, 38-7. DeVito going to keep this one himself. Cuts back up into the middle before being taken down after a gain of about four. Good job there by number 84. Mr. Coolman turning him back to the inside, not letting him bounce it outside. Containing him, so to speak. That's probably a good word tonight. I don't know if you're going to stop him, but you got to contain him. You just can't give him the big play. The big hit, so to speak. Second and six for Shelby. Four wide receivers for DeVito. And a little misdirection as they get this back into the hands of Bowman. Bowman worked through traffic. Looks like he is going to be able to go. One man with a chance for Ottawa. Oh, Glendorf. and they forced the fumble. My as Ottawa Glendorf holds on to it, and they're coming back the other way. The Titans trying to get something going here as they return that one all the way back to the 35-yard line. My goodness gracious. And, and guess who did the strip? It was the freshman, number three. And I'll tell you what, Gil, that is a perfect oh. example of why you never stop on the play. It looked like the Whippets were walking into the end zone, but Ottawa Glendorf kept going. They yeah, stayed in they, pursuit. Yeah. They could have just let him go, yep. and they forced that fumble just shy of the one-yard line. They got the bounce that they needed, and they're able to return that one out to the 30. The officials getting together here to talk about it. You it's wonder, a fumble. You I mean, wonder if it they're was talking clearly about... punched out at the one-yard line. He never got to the end zone. Well, I'm, I wonder if the question isn't whether or not it's a touchback. I don't and... think the ball ever got to the end zone, partner. And there's oh, going to be a hold on Shelby. on Shelby. Okay. Boy, what a big play for the Titans on the road. And that is going to be the last play of the third quarter. A huge turnover for the Titans as they will have the ball to begin the fourth. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's premier sponsor for Ottawa Glendorf is Ohio Logistics. Ohio Logistics provides all the assets and operational support necessary to meet your most sophisticated logistics requirements. Ohio Logistics, the smart move. To learn more, visit ohiologistics.com. Our scoreboard tonight is brought to you by Ultimate Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Ultimate Outdoor. Fourth quarter just about underway here at Shelby High School. I'm Nate Garlock alongside Darren Gilbert. And we just saw a huge momentum swing play as Ottawa Glandorf was able to strip the ball from Shelby as they were going into the end zone. As that is just out of the outstretched hands of Ethan Metzgert. They then return it to the 30-yard line and then get a holding penalty that helped them get that ball all the way out to midfield. Yeah, and that was a great call right there. He just overthrew him a little bit, 
but he tried to find him in the seam right there. And if he catches that, I don't know if anybody's going to catch Metzger. He had a head of steam up, and just unfortunately, again, it was a little bit too high, but he was there. And Ottawa Glendorf is going to have to get at least a couple of successful pass plays here if they want to try to ease up um, to open some things on the defense. And that time, we even saw that up here. Yeah, it's a, it number, appeared to be the left guard. Yeah, number 75, Grant Schulte. He saw the flinch. That is going to push Ottawa Glendorf back five yards, make it second and 15. Well, I think what he's saying is he's seeing a herd of red uniforms getting ready to come across that line was some form of a blitz, whether it be including the linebackers or from the defensive back position, but they were coming and it was going to be a host of them. No safety help one-on-one -on -one here on this near sideline if they want to try to take a shot. Coolman instead is going to hand this one off as Evers, or it's either Evers or... Yeah, trying to see who's coming from the yeah. bottom. Actually, I believe it was number 14, so I do think that it was Vinny Brinkman. He's been taking okay. his fair share of carries here this this evening as well. Uh, he picked up no gain on that one. It'll be third and 15. Carson Holman with a big play for Shelby. The senior stepping right in there, making a solid fundamental tackle. And we're going to have a flag. Yeah, they're going to have a sideline side warning. warning for Shelby. Yeah, that does not constitute any yardage. Now, if it does happen again, they will. Oh, here comes the blitz. Is that what they're keying up here defensively? Yeah, they're bringing them. Coolman able to step out of trouble. Still looking for somewhere to go with it. Throws it downfield as he had a receiver along the sideline. Tried to put it where only he could catch it and unfortunately not able to come down with the completion. So you're looking at third and 15. You're at your own 49 or excuse me, 44 yard line. And I would have to think that we are going to see a punt out of the Titans. Yeah, oh, no, just, there was a penalty. Excuse me. You have the official picking up the flag. Okay, and I did not see it either. I didn't either. And Now the punt team for Ottawa Glandorf is coming onto the field. So I wondered why there was a little bit of hesitation. And okay, we didn't see going the punt to decline it, aren't they? Yeah. I, that's why we didn't see the punt team come on right away as they were waiting to see what the penalty was. You know, now I figure out why they're kicking away from the Shelby special teams whether it be kickoffs or punts, man, they are so doggone fast. Athletic. Able to get rid of this one. Wow, there's a nice driving kick. Another beautiful punt. Going to be fielded by Shelby. Going to work towards the sidelines. And after about a gain of about nine, they're going to get taken down, and they'll begin their next drive at the 24-yard line. You know, one thing Shelby has not had a problem with here, at least outside of that initial drive to open up the half, is they have moved the ball. They have picked up chunk yardage. They, we know the big play potential mm. that they have. Last time, they should have had that touchdown, but a great defensive effort by Ottawa Glandorf. The last two times, partner, you know, they, they come away with seven, or excuse me, eight the first time, and then should have had a touchdown there. So, yeah, you can feel the momentum changing a little bit here. Ottawa Glandorf's got to, you know, toughen it up a little bit defensively and try to put him in that third and long situation like they did so well in the first half. Nice job team tackling that time as they're able to get to Marcus Gumbert. But not before he picks up five yards, bring up second and five. Dueling on the stop for the Titans. Ten twenty and counting left to go here in the game. All tied at 14. Shelby with the football looking to see if they can't go ahead.
DeVito looks to go deep, going to throw it along the sidelines as Bowman is wide open, made a man miss, and he is going to go all the way into the end zone as the Whippets have their first lead of the game. Yeah, they really did a good job stretching the field right there, you know, putting, so to speak, Ottawa Glendorf in a, in a tough position defensively because they just covered this area near us so well with wide receivers and Audible Glendorf got put in a, in a bad spot there and if you're not going to make the tackle you're going to put your teammates in a in a awkward position that's exactly what happened a missed tackle and he got it in the speedster's hands and give credit where credit's due the whippets pitch and catch touchdown DeVito has had time on his last couple of pass attempts as they're going to go for two here as this is going to be an errant throw. So it'll make it 20 to 14. That may end up being a big play here mm -hmm. if Ottawa Glendorf is able to score. But for right now, the Whippets have their first lead of the game. They're on top 20 to 14. We'll step aside and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's touchdowns are brought to you by Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete Decorative Stamping and Lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Our Red Zone sponsor is Northwest Ohio Recycling. Northwest Ohio Recycling and Pandora paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392. The Whippets are in quick scoring mode as... DeVito was able to find a Bowman running down the sidelines wide open as that pressure that we had seen Ottawa Glendorf be able to put on DeVito through the first couple of quarters has been non-existent on the last couple of big plays. Metzger trying to create, able to stay on his feet, almost back out to the 40-yard line where this Ottawa Glendor of offense is going to have to come up with some answers. Actually, partner, I think that was Vinny Brinkman. Oh, was I saw yeah. the one. I thought that was the only number on the jersey. I apologize. Well, it's okay. The only reason why I said something is because I saw number one walk by and he didn't have the football in his hand. <laughs> yep, pretty or good, never pretty good indication either. that I got that one wrong. <laughs> All right. 9.45 left to go in this one. Ottawa Glendorf needs the score. Kuhlman waits in the shotgun. Going to dump this one out. As Brinkman makes the catch, gets out past the 40-yard line, bring up second and seven. There's Mr. LaFon with the stop, the all MOC, MOAC, excuse me, first teamer. Leading tackler on the ball club. It's impressive. 108 tackles, 10 tackles for loss, an interception, forced fumble. Nice season for that young man. Coleman going to go to the air yet again. Able to get this one into the hands of Evers. As Evers made one man miss, stayed on his feet, and gets all the way out to the whip. It's 40-yard line. That's going to be enough for Elise. Same as recipe chicken, first down. Boy, nice pass there. Just stepped into it. Gunned it right there into the seam. Got a yard after contact. What, about 10 more yards? Good job there. Was that Evers you said, partner? Yeah. Okay. So they end up marking it just shy of the 40-yard line, first and 10. Coolman going to try to keep this one himself. Shakes off a would-be tackler before diving ahead. Picking up a short gain, but a nice job to make something out of nothing. Yeah, because I'll tell you, number 51, he's just cracking himself in the head. Kyler Williams, he had him in the backfield for about a three-yard loss. But that effort displayed right there by Ottawa Glandorf, was that the – was that – actually, was that Jaeger that, that – was that number 12? Yeah. They, oh, they – Okay. Is that who's in there now? I'm it, not... it is. Okay. 
A little bit of a change at the quarterback position for the Titans as he threw this one as Ottawa Glandorf. Very, very fortunate that that didn't go back the other way for six. We are uh, next to <laughs> the, the Shelby <laughs> coach's box up here in the press box. I got to get a laugh even, in because you about jumped out of your chair. Even they, and even they were, uh, they, they thought that one was going back the if other way as well. If you your facial expression, you about jumped out of your chair. Yeah, that was one of them that that, uh, that one could have put the uh, icing on the cake right there or at least made it uh, that deficit. Yeah, OG, very, very fortunate. And Ottawa Glandorf is going to take a timeout ahead of this big third down. They take the timeout. We will as well and be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Ottawa Glandorf going to go to the air, coming out of the timeout as he had it, but not able to hold on as Deegan Miller tried to hold on coming to the ground, but that one was knocked loose. That one just set up and fluttered in the air just a little bit too long. Good play there by the secondary of Shelby. But, yeah, he had a step. If that ball would have just had a little more oomph behind it, I think we would have had a touchdown by Ottawa Glandor for at least a first down inside the 15. So I can see Peyton Coleman over there on the sidelines. Helmet on, pads on. Doesn't look like he's injured. But Carson Yeager has been in taking the last handful of snaps. Big fourth down here for the Titans. Yeager going to go to the air yet again. Looks to get rid of it as he tried to get it over to number 13, Dan, Dan Dooling. But I don't think Dooling had his head turned and wasn't ready for that one. And it's going to be a turnover on downs. Yeah, he gets some zip on the ball. He really does. Unfortunately, great defense there by the Whippets, forcing the turnover on downs. Now this is where Ottawa Glendor, if you got to buckle down and get a stop and, and try to get it quick and try to make the Whippets play behind the chains. And that's easier said than done, partner. Absolutely. DeVito waits in the shotgun. He's going to carry this one himself. Nope, decides to throw it, gets it out to Bowman. Bowman fighting with Metzger, able to pick up about five on the catch and carry. Metzger, Bellman on the stop there. So officially a six-yard gain, bring up second and four. Clock continuing to run. A little double, nope, fake double reverse. It looked like he was trying to throw and instead decides to keep it himself, continuing to move around. As that was Nick Eisert, he was looking for Avery Lambert on that reverse pass. Very Lambert, well covered. Yeah, Lambert was covered, nowhere to go. Good decision not to let that one go. And instead, Isert decides to call his own number, works through some traffic, and he picks up a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Yeah, he made uh, something out of nothing right there, just being patient and taking care of the football. DeVito going to hand this one off to Gumbert. Gumbert right up the middle. He picks up about three on that carry. Like to thank tonight's presenting sponsor, Putnam County Home Care and Hospice. Putnam County Home Care and Hospice providing in-home medical care for over 50 years. Make sure and request Putnam County Home Care and Hospice for all your health care needs, where you are treated like family. 
makes our job so much easier, doesn't it? The sponsorships that we've had throughout the year. Oh, absolutely. Thank we have fantastic you to them. sponsors. Yep. It keeps getting bigger and bigger, too. DeVito going to carry this one himself. Works off that right oh, great side. great job. His patience is usually an asset, but right there, I think it costs the Whippets as he's going to be dropped for a two-yard loss, bring up third and ten. Dueling, chasing him down. Good play there by the Titans, stringing it out. Not giving him anywhere to go with it. And DeVito smartly not throwing that thing away. Boy, if you're the Titans, you got to love it right now. This is a huge third down. It certainly is. DeVito, four wide receivers. Going to look to air this one out. No pressure. Able to throw it down the middle of the field. Almost picked off and then off of the hands of Avery Lambert as that is going to stop the clock and bring up fourth down for Shelby. Yeah. Appeared to be rump number 20 to get a hand on it. Maybe he got just enough of a deflection where, where the receiver just could not reel that thing in and probably lost sight of the football. Yeah, it looked like a, a deflection from up here, but even if he didn't get his hands on it, you got to think that the traffic that he had in front of the eyes of Lambert caused some of that mistiming on that one. Yeah, DeVito can definitely twirl a football. Boy, that was tight. So they able to get this punt away. Fair catch signaled as Ottawa Glandorf will come in and they will take over inside their own 20. They're going to have a long way to go, but they are still in this one with two four, or excuse me, with 4:49 left to go in the game and down six. You know, you don't want to use the expression about a long way to go and a short time to get there, but if it gets into that three-minute mark and below, you're almost going to have to start thinking that. Let's see what the Titans do here, and let's see more so what Shelby decides to do defensively. Carson Yeager still in the game. Going to have to let this one go. The left-hander not able to get that one up enough as it bounces off the turf and incomplete. So I'm not sure what happened with Kuhlman. I don't know if this is a coach's decision or if he is injured. I, we didn't, I don't remember recall seeing anything that may have hurt him. But he is still on the sidelines. Carson Yeager taking all the snaps currently. Jaeger in the shotgun. Let's this one go yet again. Able to complete this one. Not much as far as yards after catch. Okay, he did get out of bounds over there. Yep. I was a little concerned whether he was going to get far enough to that boundary over there, but the official did did uh, stop the clock. Going to bring up third and short for the Titans. You know, one thing I noticed about Jaeger, he does a pretty good job throwing the ball on the run. Jaeger can't afford any negative yardage on this play. Right before the snap. Oh, that's big. We're going to have a flag delay of game for the Titans. Well, and that's one of those things as a quarterback. You're looking at that 25-second clock, and it's not there, you know, for the use tonight, unfortunately. And even what's worse about that is they, they were up to the line for a while. He It wasn't like they were rushing. It wasn't a late play sure. call. It's just like I think what you said. It's that you don't have the clock in front of you right now. You're having to go off of officials and what they're saying or what they're yeah, signaling. Yeah, you're so used to it. And got a little bit. Mixed up on that, led to a penalty. Going to make it third and seven. Jaeger throws it across the middle. Lots of contact. Oh, I think but that's going to be a catch. But he still held on. Yes, what, and a pass interference. What a catch by Deegan Miller as he held on to that one. Flags go flying. I believe we're going to have pass interference on Shelby. you got to love that name for a wide receiver, Deegan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 
As the officials big, get big, together. Big play. I, that's, from our vantage point, it looked like a defensive pass interference and a heck of a catch. I mean, you want to talk about concentration and looking that thing in and getting his big paws wrapped around it and protecting himself. Yeah, they decline the penalty as the yardage Boy, that's on big. the Yeah, the yardage on the catch ends up being more than the penalty yardage. So a great job by Deegan Miller to come up with that one. Move the sticks and pick up a Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Hey, and give the young man Jaeger credit for stepping up and throwing a dart right there. Good job by that young man. Jaeger looking to go out to Metzger. Metzger almost had it but couldn't quite hold on. That is, that's a hard throw. Ooh. The angle that Jaeger just had and when he let that one fly, you don't see a lot of people make that throw, and that one was almost completed to Metzger, but ends up being incomplete. These are second strength, and ten. huh? You know, the young man's a sophomore. Going to have a bright future for the Titans. 417 left to go. Ottawa Glendorf down six. They got a second and ten on their side of the field. Jaeger. Sets up the screen, gets it out to Brinkman. Brinkman not able to pick up a ton, but does get some positive yardage. It'll bring up third and six. Yes, yeah, Shelby, really. Oh, and we got a flag on the play. A late flag. What on I was that getting one. ready to say, partner, it almost looked like a late hit. And we'll see what the officials call here. This could be a, a, a big one. Going to be a personal foul, dead ball against Shelby, and that is of huge consequence. See, and I'm wondering if it's the late hit that, you know, it used to be called the piling on. It almost looked like the OG ball carrier was already on the ground, and inadvertently a Shelby player jumped on top of it. So another Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken first down. Here's Jaeger. Going to air this one out. It did not come off the way he wanted. Nice adjustment as this one gets tipped into the air, and it is picked off. Yeah, that's one of those that got caught up into the air and fluttered. But look, look at OG. I mean, the first ones they're grinding over to is Mr. Jaeger. Yeah, that looked like it fluttered coming off of his hands. He wasn't able to get the strength that he needed as he had his receiver open. Dueling tried to come back for it, and it became a jump ball situation. And As him is, and the defender went for it, they actually tipped it up, and a second defender who had come over came up with the interception, and it is a huge turnover with 3.44 left to go. This one not over yet, though. Ottawa Glendor still with two timeouts, but they got to get some stops. DeVito. Going to carry this one himself up the middle as he is going to get taken down out across the 25-yard line, just shy of the first down marker. Shoemaker and Stecksholdy on the stop for the Titans. Our premier sponsor for the Ottawa Glendorf Titans is Ohio Logistics. Ohio Logistics provides all the assets and operational support necessary to meet your most sophisticated logistics requirements. Ohio Logistics, the smart move. To learn more, visit ohiologistics.com. Second and short for the Whippets. DeVito, he has been clutch all night for Shelby. He's going to keep this one himself, tries to cut back, looking for a little bit of space, and just goes down. Smart move as he didn't want to do too much. You don't want to risk the turnover. But if you're the Titans, you've got to be very pleased with that because they lost yardage on it. Now it's going to put them in a third and, what, a long three, almost four yards here. You get a stop here and get the football back. you still got your timeouts left, at least two of them. Yeah, this is the biggest play of the game for the Titans. You've got to put them in a fourth down and see if they have to punt the football. you you, you got to believe in short field you want to punt the football if you're Shelby if you don't get this first down. Let's see if they don't do a cadence call. No, they didn't. DeVito going to carry it himself. Has a big hole right up the middle. Makes two men miss, and now it's a foot race. 
as DeVito, 10-5, touchdown Shelby. On a big third down call, DeVito calls his own number, and it's the speed that it just ends up being the difference as once Braden DeVito gets into that open space, not very many people are going to be able to catch him. Well, and that's why he's the pulley in the MOAC. Efforts like that, player of the year. OG, and, and give OG credit. They've done a phenomenal job defensively tonight because this is a big power offense. We've both seen it firsthand tonight with our eyes, and they are capable of putting points up. And Ottawa Glandorf just have done a remarkable job tonight putting, them, uh, putting themselves in a position uh, to, you know, tie it up. And that touchdown there, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to indicate a little longer of a spread partner, so to speak, but the game was a lot closer than what the score is going to indicate. So we had a flag on the play that's going to push this back a little farther. As it looks like Shelby is still going to go ahead and try for the two points. On top, 26 to 14 now. Trying to see if they can't push this out to a 28-14 game. DeVito looking for somewhere to go. Nice crossing route, but the receiver Bowman is met and held and dropped by dueling to keep this a 26 to 14 game. Shelby on top, Ottawa Glandorf running out of time. We'll see if they can do anything with it when we come back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's touchdowns are brought to you by Dale's Concrete. Call Dale's Concrete, decorative stamping, and lipstick for all your commercial and residential concrete needs. Also, I'd like to thank our first down sponsor, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, located in Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Locally loaned, owned and operated, Lee's is not just famous for chicken, we're famous for catering, too. So the Shelby Whippets offense has come alive here in this second half, and after their latest Dale's Concrete touchdown, they have a two-score lead. 159 left to go. Ottawa Glendorf about to get the football. They do still have two timeouts, but they're going to have to start taking some chances. This one's going to get field out to the 30-yard line. Metzger spins out of trouble and gets taken down right around the 34. Lafon on the stop. Fun game to call. Yes. Fun, you know, fun game. And I think a lot of people thought that this one wouldn't be this tight, especially this late into the game. As you see, Jaeger still in the game for the Titans. Well, again, it's not a 26 to 14 game. There are people who are going to say, well, what do you mean? Well, it was a lot closer to that. It was 20 to 14, and OG had their chances. Jaeger trying to float this one out to Metzger, but can't connect as that one is going to fall incomplete. Yeah, LaFon with the pressure right there, number 30. He's, he's really stepped the game and elevated his game this second half. Tough spot for Carson Jaeger to come into is – at yeah, you got to believe that the young man's dinged up. Yeah, that there's some sort of injury that keeps Peyton Coleman out of this one. Jaeger has come in slinging it all over, but hasn't been able to find a ton of success quite yet. Looking to turn that around right here. Jaeger has trouble with the snap, able to gather it in, and just throw, floats this one a little high for Metzger. Yeah, really fortunate that ball hit the ground and bounced right back up to him. So he stayed in stride with it, just overthrew Metzger a little bit. And they're trying to get it to the playmaker. Mr. Metzger is definitely their playmaker that uh, is capable of breaking off a big one. We saw that in the first half. 
he's one of those kids that is really, really dynamic on the track and field in the spring, and they're trying to get it out there to him and let him try to do something positive. Jaeger going to air this one out again. Tried for a third straight time to get it out to Metzger, but can't connect with him, and that is going to bring up fourth down. This could be it for the Titans. They need to pick up this first down, or Shelby will take over. Ottawa Glandorf still has two timeouts, but Shelby will pretty much be able to run out the clock if they take over. Three wide receivers, two on the far side. But before we have this play, Coach Schreiner wants to talk about it, and he'll take the timeout, so will we. We'll be back on WOSN. Welcome back. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Jaeger drops a snap, has to gather it back up, going to throw it across the middle. Nobody there. This will fall incomplete, and that will just about wrap this one up for the Whippets. See Carson Jaeger, I think Thawney's going to have a receiver going down the middle of the field, and after dropping that snap, just had to get rid of it quickly, took a chance. Nobody was there. and It's been a valiant effort by the Titans here tonight against this vaunted Shelby Whippets team that looks to stay undefeated on the season. But the Titans are going to come up just short as the Whippets are going to come out, it looks like, in victory formation. Yeah, just looking at the scores from Division 4, Region 14, Sandusky Perkins won tonight against Vermillion 48-7. Napoleon knocked off Bay Village 28 to nothing. In Ontario, another team from the MOAC in this region, 138 to 7. So it's going to be interesting to see who matches up with whom, you know, next week. Because as you get further down the line, I think the state can determine who plays where, I think, unless they've changed that, that rule. So Coach Schreiner choosing not to use his timeouts here at the end of this one. As Shelby will just be, I believe, one kneel down away from sealing this one. And again, another phenomenal job by Coach Schreiner. Uh, very well respected in the coaching profession in Northwest Ohio and his coaching staff and his players. Uh, you know, the, the record is not indicative of how successful they were uh, starting out, didn't play very well against Liberty Benton, ended up beating Kenton, lost to Wapak, turned around, beat Elida, played St. Mary's, nip and tuck, beat a bath team that unfortunately lost tonight, but beat them, lost a overtime game to Van Wert, beat Salina, beat Shawnee, knocked off Galleon last week to advance to this game, nothing to be ashamed of. Um, Seniors did what they had to do and, and, and did it very well. Uh, hopefully the kids that got dinged up tonight for Ottawa Glendorf are, are going to be okay um, when they get back to, to school and everything. But uh, phenomenal game. Shelby's a good football team. They're undefeated for a reason. And uh, Mr. DeVito is the real deal. And when you have skilled players like that, Nate, that – that you can distribute the football to. Um, somehow they answer the bell the second half. You made a great point in the first half that they put it all together in the second half last week. And lo and behold, guess what they did tonight? They they put it together and 26 to 14 victory for them, but uh, a lot closer than that 12 point deficit indicator. Yeah, it was a great effort tonight. Braden DeVito and Brady Bowman just ended up being too much 
as, like you mentioned, that offense finally got going coming out of the locker room in the second half, and Ottawa Glandorf just didn't quite have the offensive power to keep up with them. But a tremendous season by the Titans coming off of a 1-9 record last year. They finished the season all – in the playoffs, they had a winning record in the regular season. A lot of really good things. Coach Schreiner hitting a coaching milestone for wins this year as well. So a lot of great things still happening within this Titan program and nothing to be ashamed of by any stretch. That is just about going to wrap it up for us here at Shelby High School. I'd like to thank our crew tonight, Jacob doing a fantastic job as always, setting up all the equipment. He's going to get back to the station, do all the editing as well. Did a fantastic job. Well, as I always say, you know, we have the easy jobs, Gil. We get to show up. You we betcha. get to watch sports, talk about it. These guys, they do all the hard work for us, and we couldn't be more appreciative for everything that well, they J do. Jake made a great point. He came over here the other day and checked out the place. He didn't have to do that. He got on his in his car on his own time and come over and checked it out, and those things – go unnoticed uh can't be done without people doing the camera work and doing the editing and nate I, I thank you for getting the opportunity to work with you again i know we haven't done it in a while and it's always fun doing it with you and i consider you a really good friend couldn't have said it better myself my friend one final time from shelby high school the shelby whippets knock off ottawa glendorf 26 to 14 thanks for tuning in and have a great night everybody